Hey guys, in this video I'm going to tell you why linear equations are called linear equations. Huh. Sounds a bit funny. Anyway, so let's say that we have an equation. Okay, so let's say we have this equation 2 times x minus y is equal to 5. Now, and let's say that the value of x is what is the value of y going to be um, let's say 2 times x is 4 so 4 minus that is what 4, 4 minus what is 5 4 minus minus 1 wait so if x is 2 then y is minus 1 so if x is 2 then y is minus 1. They meet over here. What if x is 6? If x is 6, then what will y be? y will be 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 6 is 12. Wait, 2 times 6 is 12. 12 minus 7 is 5 so 7 7 7 not on this scale so not this not if you should not take this example of a 7 7 is not even given so we'll take the example of let's say 4 if x is 4 then 2x is 8 and this is 3 What if x is what if x is three? If x is three, then two times x is six, and this is going to be equal to one. What if x is five? If x is five, then two times x is going to be 10 and 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 so let me just erase the equation given over here and let me write um, like this okay so why are these equations called linear equations is there anything about them that makes them call that, that makes us call them linear equations yes it is that whenever you draw these equations on a graph, they always form a linear graph. See, this point joins this point, this point joins this point, this point joins this point. Now it's not exactly a straight line. Wait, let me draw it again. This point joins this point, this point joins this point, and this point joins this point. Anyway, it's not exactly, uh, these are not exactly straight graphs, so, but if you would draw it with, um, on a, graph paper with uh, with your scale and your pencil you get it exact so this is why we call linear equations linear